Life can be a wonderful thing when you learn to live in the moment. Those memories you make, you can take with you no matter where your journey takes you. Hello and welcome again. This is Sandra. And as you can see, I am back in my old environment again. I uh, had a wonderful time in Nashville. Of course, you know, I miss my son and his family and I miss the uh, rolling hills of Tennessee. I consider that my second home and I hope I'll be back there again maybe during the holidays or next summer to get away from this Florida heat. But boy, was I lucky. My son said that as soon as I left, the very next day, the temperature went up to about 100 or 114. I don't know what, but as you know, while I was there, it was absolutely beautiful. Every day was like a beautiful fall or early spring day, and um, it was just gorgeous. So. I am so grateful for all of that. But now I'm back in my my home environment and it's good to be home. It's good to be back with my little Mushu again. <laughs> and today I want to talk about four things. You know, at my age, you know, I'm, I'm always thinking about perhaps in my type line of work, what lessons I can help everyone with because I've certainly lived life till its fullest. And for these past 85, almost 86 years, I've learned a lot <laughs> and I'm sure you have too. So we are all getting wiser and smarter by the minute as each day goes by. But the four things that have really hit home to me, there are four top lessons maybe that I have learned in life. And guess what? <laughs> they all begin with the letter L. And the first one, whether you're young or you're old, is listening. How much I was able to learn in my life by listening. Listening to my parents, listening to my teacher, listening to my friends, getting different opinions, educating myself, always being open to new ideas so that when you listen, you're actually communicating and learning. And I think today that is quickly disappearing from the landscape and it breaks my heart because Civilized countries, in civilized countries, people listen to one another. They learn from one another and they grow together by the exchange of ideas, don't they? When you listen, you open up yourself to new ideas, new potentials and positive things in your life. When you listen, you really Listen to your gut, don't you? You have to learn to listen to your instinct, most of all, early on in life, because 99.9% .9 of the time, that instinct will give you the answer. So that's one of the most important listening that you can ever do in your life. It helps you build strong relationships and understand the world around you. This generation has their noses stuck in cell phones and taking information in and they're not really perhaps researching it or thinking different about it or maybe even questioning some of the things that they see on the internet. And if you listen, you also learn to question. And for all of us who are in their 40s, 50s, or 60s, or beyond, listening means that 
we are engaged. Listening means that we are in the moment. We're having coffee. We're listening to the birds. We're listening to opinions around us. We're listening to our children. We are listening and helping counsel those who have asked for our opinions. So listening is more than just hearing words. Listening, no matter how old or young you are, will always help you grow. Now, for the second one. What on earth is this woman talking about? What could the second L be? Well, labor. There's nothing wrong with hard work. It can be a labor of love. It can be something that helps you get ahead in life. Nothing in life is free. Nothing. Even though you feel like the government is giving you this or somebody is giving you that, there are always strings attached and the money has to come from somewhere, from your parents, from me, <laughs> from those people who have worked hard all their lives and has paid into the system. Money has to come from somewhere. And it's never handed to you without your loss of respect. Work and staying busy is so critical for society, for the economy, and for your mental well-being, no matter what they say. It's about learning, strengths, and discovering new skills that maybe you never realized that you had. Never turn down an opportunity to work and to learn something new. As I have said before, maybe if I say it again, you're going to be sick. <laughs> I have had different chapters, chapters in my life about every 10 years. So I have always been open to doing some other kind of work, to discovering some other skill in my life that maybe I didn't know I had, or maybe that I always wished I could pursue. You don't get that by just sitting back and let others pave the way. Hi, Mushu. How are you, sweetheart? And he's come up beside me. I just have to bring in little Mushu during this conversation because he was, he was around me. <laughs> And he was like pulling at my dress and doing all kinds of mischievous things that, that puppies do. So say hello to everybody, Mushu. Oh, I love you too. So I'm just so happy to have him back. So happy to see him. And um, he's one of my best friends. Aren't you, Mush? Yes, you're one of my best friends. Okay, back to the conversation. <laughs> For those of us who are older and maybe consider ourselves retired, we are still working because we need to have a sense of purpose. Maybe our retirement is not, in, and what we're doing, our type of work is what we're doing is not in a nine to five job, but we are always learning and growing and that's what helps keep us young. That is what helps keep our gray matter growing. A rolling stone gathers no moss, does it? I mean, that's really, really true. As long as you keep moving, you keep working, you keep exercising that brain matter up there, you will be happier, you will live longer, and you will always feel every morning when you wake up that you have a sense of of purpose. No matter what it is, everyone has a different uh, sense of purpose. You have different thoughts and ideas about how you want to live your life, but we don't just sit down and die. We keep active and the mo more active you are, the happy you are, and the more fulfilled you will be. And when you wake up in the morning and your feet hit the floor, 
you will be anxious to start your day because you have a sense of purpose. So labor is so important, no matter how young or old you are. When you are older, you can keep contributing to your community and giving yourself a sense of purpose. And after this video, I really want you to put your comments below because I am so interested. If you are young, what you are thinking about working and how you feel about it. And if you are my age, a little younger, how have you found your sense of purpose here today? Now, number three, I've talked about before, it is laughter. Having a sense of humor, being able to laugh at ourselves, being able to see the lighter side of things really helps us in life. Norman Cousins, who was very, very ill, has always said laughter has kept him alive. Laughter got over so many obstacles that he had in his life. Look at comedians, George Burns, all of the comedians that that I have known in my life, Groucho Marx, these are the old time, in case you're young and you don't know who these people are, Google them. They lived long, healthy lives because they could laugh. They could see the humor in things. And do you know when you laugh, your body releases endorphins that makes you feel better? It's really true. So don't take yourself so seriously all the time. And I think I'm thinking more about this younger generation. Sometimes you all are so serious. You're so worried about the future. You're so worried about your image, about all of the things on social media. You're so worried about what others think of you. Don't take it so seriously. Learn to laugh at yourself. Laugh at your frailties. Laugh at your mistakes. Have joy in those things in life that you've accomplished, that you have done well. Being able to sit down and see the humor in life will help you find happiness much faster than it will if you're always going around with a sad, sad, turned down, unsmiley face. When you can laugh, it gives you a true depth of intelligence and understanding of other people and of yourself. Okay, <laughs> now let's get to number four. And this is my biggest one, my biggest L in my entire life. And that is love. Love does make the world go round. Love opens us to understanding those people around us. Love allows us to forgive. Love allows us to embrace others and to give a part of our hearts to them. And love helps us heal all divisions, all nationalities, all religions, all walks of life, all colors of people. Love is what makes this world so wonderful. It is the most powerful force in life. Love you young people in all its forms, romantic relationship with your family. It is extremely important and helps you grow and have a happier and more fulfilled life. Don't keep yourself in a cocoon and feel that you're all alone 
and you're afraid of the future and you're afraid to reach out, if you exude love, it shows through your eyes. It just comes out of your inner core and reaches everyone around you. I have this young follower who lives in another country and he has followed me and he calls me his grandma, but we have been friends for quite a few years now. But I follow him on Instagram and I see all of his friends, the happiness that he exudes and the wonderful life he is achieving and he's now out in the world. He graduated from college and he is applying his craft, his architecture. But I see this young man develop and grow and the happiness of the friends around him is so heartwarming, heartwarming because he has been open to love and to accepting advice from others and to getting out of his little sphere because he has opened himself to the world and love and happiness. And every time I get a text from him, my heart soars. And Zach, you know who you are. And I'm very grateful for your friendship. Love ultimately makes life worth living. Love makes life worth living. Those are my four L's from this 85 year old woman that have done me well and have helped me through this life that we all are living. Simple things. If we all remember those four things in life, whether you are 18 or 85, they will never ever fail you. They will never ever lead you down the wrong path and they will help you live a more fulfilled and happy life in our journey here. Oh boy, I'm so happy to be back here and to see all of you again. Thank you again. I love each and every one of you and let's go out and take these four L's and and use them, work on them, and share them with your grandchildren, your near children, or share them with your friends that you have in your little circle. Don't forget to be good to yourself today. And if you are out there and you feel helpless and lonely, you are not. And quit caring what other people think of you because it doesn't matter. Be you. That's all that we ask. Be you because you are super unique individual. Thank you again. And I hope to see you next Sunday. Maybe I'll do a video up in the garden if I can. I'm going to try to get to the beach. I'll get some video of that. I haven't been to the beach yet. So I'm just, you know, still unpacking and getting my life together here. Take care. I love all of you, and I hope to see you next Sunday for another conversation. Take care. Love you bunches. Mm -hmm.